I love Uncharted. Anyone that knows me knows this very well, and it was even the topic of the first video I made on this channel when it was called PlayStation Follower. Long story short, I'll link the full video in the description, but Uncharted inspired me in so many ways growing up, and it taught me valuable lessons I'll always cherish. And if you were to ask me if I was knowledgeable on the franchise as a whole, I'd tell you I was. I'd even go as far as telling you that I was extremely knowledgeable on the games. Well, at least I thought I was. As of late, an exchange on Twitter opened all of our eyes as Uncharted fans to a fact about the games that completely changed the way we view our protagonist Nathan Drake. What's going on guys, TKD123 here and this is how Nathan Drake doesn't take any damage. Throughout your adventures as Nathan Drake, there's plenty to do and uncover from Golden Abyss to a Thief's End. But of course, one of the core activities you'll be partaking in is killing other baddies in your way. Whether it be local militias, contracted armies, or the paranormal, when you're not solving puzzles and seeking treasure, you're likely taking cover from enemy fire. And the gameplay is exactly what it looked like, at least to us. Whether you're out in the open or exposed to enemy fire, your screen will grow more and more red until you fall to the ground and meet your demise. We assumed it was just Nathan taking bullet damage until he died, as most games, well pretty much all games, on normal difficulty make you a bullet sponge to give you a fighting chance in combat. However, a Twitter interaction says otherwise. It all started with at Shuni Legend tweeting out a stylized gif of Nathan in Uncharted 4 as he swings, dodging enemy fire, then propels himself to deliver a punch to an unsuspecting enemy. Pretty Nathan Drake if you ask me. But it gets interesting when Jonathan Cooper, an animator at Naughty Dog, chimed in and had this to say, quote, that's a mega swing. Side note I learned on joining the team, Drake doesn't ever take bullet damage. The red UI that shows, quote, hits is to represent his luck running out. Eventually enemies will get a clear shot and kill him if he takes enough near misses, unquote. Well, we were horribly wrong about all of that. We were all wrong about the red UI and all the Uncharted games thinking it was Nathan taking damage when in fact it was just his luck running out. The plot thickened even more when Amy Hennig, writer of the original three Uncharted games, and that needs no introduction really, replied as well with her own input saying, quote, true, that was the original intention, to stay more in line with the spirit and the tone of the films we were homaging. And honestly, I dig this little tidbit that we got here about Uncharted. Honestly, it adds so much more charm to the games overall. Some would call it a cop-out or an unnecessary needed detail. We as gamers are used to our characters being bullet sponges anyway, <laughs> the division. <laughs> so having this fact is pretty useful from that standpoint to me, but generally speaking, I love it. Throughout the Uncharted series, you overcome incredible odds and do the impossible as if luck is on your side, just like watching Indiana Jones and watching him do the same thing as if he had this invincible luck factor, they mimic the same aspect with Nathan. It just boils down to Nathan Drake is just a lucky guy. Skilled, of course, but also just lucky. It's a touch I appreciate and adds to his overall wit and character overall. But let me know what you all think down in the comments below. Do you you like knowing this detail or do you wish it never even existed let me know all your thoughts down there in the comments below i will make sure to reply to them and interact down in the comments below and make sure to also check out our description where you can find the instagram and twitter to follow us on those platforms and make sure to like the video as well as subscribe to playstation source to keep up with the latest and greatest on playstation thank you all for watching and as always catch you in the next one